If you have two customer accounts that are similar or duplicated in QuickBooks Online that you would like to merge into one, how do you actually merge those two customers? You'll see in our example here that this QuickBooks account somehow wound up with a customer named John Doe, another named John S. Doe, and yet another one named Doe, John. So in this video, we're gonna merge those into one customer account. Now, make sure to watch until the end because we're also gonna be covering how to deal with merging sub-customers as well. Now, one thing to make note of before merging any accounts in QuickBooks Online is that the merging process is not reversible. Merging is permanent and you can't undo it at a later point. The transactions in the customer account being merged will be moved to the remaining customer account and the merging cannot be undone. Okay, with that heads up out of the way, let's get started. I'm gonna show you two different ways to merge these customers. The renaming technique is the first way. Once you're logged into your QuickBooks Online account, you're gonna click on Customers and Leads and then select Customers. Or you can hover over Sales and click Customers. Now here, we're gonna find the customer profile that we're wanting to keep. So in this case, we're wanting to keep John Doe. And then we're gonna click on the name here to open it up. Then in the top right of the screen, we're gonna click edit. Now here, we're gonna copy the display name exactly as it appears. This is important for the merging process to work. And then we're gonna click save or the X at the top right to go back. Now let's find the customer that we're wanting to merge with the one we just had open. And we're gonna click on the name of that customer to open it up. Then we're gonna click edit on this one. And here we're gonna change the display name to be exactly the same as the one we're merging this customer with. So let's paste that name here that we just copied. Then in the bottom right, we're gonna click save. Now QuickBooks is gonna alert us that this name is already being used and ask us if we want to merge the two. We're gonna go ahead and click yes. And you'll see that this customer now shows as deleted and the transactions that were here before are no longer here. Now, if we click on the name of the customer that we merged this one with, we'll see those transactions from John S. Doe are now showing up here under John Doe, the account that we want to keep. Now, the second way to merge customers is by using the merge feature. For this, we're gonna merge our example customer, Doe, John. So let's go ahead and click on that account here. And over in the top right area of the screen, beside edit, there's a drop down menu that we'll go ahead and click on. And here we're gonna click Merge Contacts. Now, Doe, John will be in our top field here. This is the account that we're merging into the other customer account. QuickBooks is giving us a heads up to make sure that we save any address, phone numbers, or other details from this contact. Because after you merge transactions, all of the info from this contact will be deleted. And then in the bottom field here, we're gonna select John Doe. Then we'll click Merge Contacts. Now we'll see that Doe, John is now showing as deleted and all of the transactions from this customer account have been moved over to the John Doe account and we have successfully merged the two. Now, how do you merge accounts when you have sub customers? If you're relatively new to QuickBooks Online and trying to learn the ins and outs of the software, I've recorded a QuickBooks Online crash course for busy business owners like yourself. Your time is valuable, so I've created this concise QuickBooks in 30 minutes crash course where I guide you through the essentials of QuickBooks Online. I cover everything from choosing the correct QuickBooks account for your business needs, syncing your bank and credit card accounts, invoicing customers, entering bills, categorizing transactions, generating financial reports, and so much more, all within 30 minutes. If you're ready to streamline your bookkeeping and get back to running your business with confidence, then check out the link to this free crash course in the description of this video. So if you have a customer account that has sub customers underneath it that you would like to merge with the main customer account or the parent customer account, here's how to do that. We're gonna to go to the parent customer account, click edit, and then copy the display name and click the X to go back. Then we're gonna to go to the sub customer account and click edit. We're gonna change the display name to be the exact name of the parent customer account but we also have to scroll down and deselect this checkbox here that says is a sub customer and then we'll click save and then on this pop-up we're going to click yes and now this sub customers transactions have been combined with the parent customer account now if you have a customer that you'd like to merge with another customer but the one you're needing to change has sub customers under it we're going to get this message saying the customer to merge from cannot contain sub customers 
So in order to be able to merge this parent subcustomer account, we'll first need to merge the subcustomer with the parent customer account, and then we can merge the parent account with a new or other customer account. So let me show you how that would work. First, we'll merge this subcustomer the same way that we just did by selecting the parent customer account, clicking edit, and then copying the display name. Then we're going to open up the subcustomer account, click edit, and change the display name to match exactly. Scroll down and deselect the checkbox here and click save. Then we're going to click yes on the pop-up. Okay, now the subcustomer and the parent customer have been merged. So now we can click on the parent customer here and click on edit. Now let's change the display name to be the exact name as the customer account that we're merging it with. And then we'll click save and then click yes on the pop-up. And now the sub customers as well as the parent customer show as deleted and the transactions have been moved to the other customer account. Now, if you have any challenges with merging your customer accounts, feel free to comment below with your exact details of your specific situation and we'll do our best to help you out. If this video has been helpful, we'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like button and subscribe to see our future videos. Now go ahead and check out the link to my QuickBooks Online Crash Course in the description of this video and I'll see you there.